Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, the channel name is Alba Stitcher and this is a channel predominantly about cross stitch. Um, this is floss tube number 32 and today is Wednesday the 23rd of March. We are absolutely having fabulous weather here in the west of Scotland. It's um, highly irregular. Um, it's beautiful sunshine. It's been like that for a couple of days now. Um, quite warm for this time of year. So um, yeah, we're, we're, I think we're all really enjoying it, which is nice. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, thanks for returning um, to my channel. And if you're new here, I hope you like what you see and you subscribe. Um, I have quite a lot to show you today. I have worked on quite a few projects. In fact, I will need to pause while I go and get um, a couple that are in the other room. Um, but I have six projects that I worked on. I have two finishes, one new start and another three whips that I picked up in the last two weeks. Um, I also have some happy mail. I have haul market haul um, and I still have more coming so there's quite a lot of haul as well um, all, for, all market haul and um, yeah a little bit of a, a life update as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause now it'll be nothing for you guys um, while I go and get those other whips and uh, then I'll be back in a sec hi um, not not a good start that I'm already kind of oh I've left stuff next door anyway let me do a quick life update. Not for me. I am perfectly fine. I've had my last physio appointment. Um, what happens now is my case stays open for three months in case I need to go back. <coughs> Sorry. And um, yeah, that's it. It's, it's pretty fine. I have a, occasional problems, but actually no real problems, so I can't complain. However, we do have a bit of a situation or clarification on the, the problems that my dad's been experiencing. So anybody who has watched me for a little while knows that my dad ended up in hospital with COVID last September, August, September. The whole family got it. We all got it. But he ended up in hospital and it wasn't, everything was not right. And when they finally let him out, they were like, yeah, the, he needs other tests. There's, there's definitely something wrong. Fast forward <laughs> all these months, and all these lots of different appointments with different specialists. And we, we did finally get the diagnosis. Um, the last time I filmed, I think he was at the hospital that day. So we finally got a diagnosis and it's actually not such a good one. Um, There's kind of lots, lots to happen. But they diagnosed him with Alzheimer's, moderate to severe Alzheimer's, which he now has medication for. It's, um, yeah, so he's now got medication for that. But he also has something called Lewy body um, dementia, LBD. And and that that's something different. It's a lot to do with his spatial awareness, his stability on his feet, uh, his ability just to do kind of general tasks like eat and feed himself. There's lots. Um, and in the time since he left hospital in September, to now, there's been quite a, a, a dramatic downturn. We, we see quite a lot of um, days where it's not good. So it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge for my mum, obviously, because she is um, she, she she's with them all the time. And um, it, it kind of made things a bit complicated for me about moving out or if I should move out sooner. And so, so there's been lots kind of happening there. But the, the journey is is well underway now it's not even mild it, um yeah they, they've told us it's moderate to, to severe and we just need to take one day as it comes so I, I actually i'm aware that that's quite a downer to start my video and please believe me that praise heavy on my mind praise heavy on my mother's mind but my dad is kind of unaffected he's the one that kind of just sees every day as every day and oh yeah i'm confused and what does this mean and but yeah, so so actually I'm not going to dwell on it. I would rather just um, keep going and, and film my video. And if anybody wants to ask me any questions, it's fine. But I mean, I'm not an expert. This is brand new for us. I believe the Louis body dementia is a fairly recent type of dementia. So um, that, that road is very up and down. Whereas with the Alzheimer's, it's kind of always kind of getting 
down degenerative. Um, so yeah, the two will um, collide at certain points. And there are days where he's very disorientated. Anyway, you're not here to hear about all that, although I know people are because people are very kind and are always asking about my dad, but that, that's the most up-to-date situation we have. Um, yeah, that's the most up-to-date situation. Anyway, let's talk about stitching. Um, so, first thing I want to talk about is my finishes. I have some finishes today. Um, I cracked on since my last video. And I have two finishes. One of them is my monthly marker. And anyone who's been watching me for a while knows that in January I decided to do the Prairie Birds. Um, there's 10 in the series. My plan was to do one every month. And um, then that would be my monthly marker for the year. And I do know there is 12 months in the year. I don't know what I'll do the other two. So I started March. And here we have it. It's all finished. So... That's it. This is uh, Stitched on Sparklies, um, 28 count parchment, using the called for DMC. This is not the, <laughs> this is not the chart I thought I had chosen to, to stitch, but I, I chose wrongly, so, so I stitched it anyway. And here we have, it's all finished. And my idea is to have them finished in, as little pillows, and um, then I'll have them all done. And I, I'm, I struggle sometimes with the colours. I think sometimes it's maybe just how I'm feeling, but I, I do struggle sometimes with the colours, which is bizarre because in the beginning, that's what I loved. I loved the kind of muted colours. But anyway, here we go. This is March. Um, my my plan is to do the April one, the one with the blue that's in the, the, the birdhouse. So yeah, that's my plan. But yeah, so that was my first finish. And this is stitched um, two over two. Um, my second finish, this uh, video, oh, I have loved, and actually it's too big for this board, but hopefully you get to see it. It's the lovely SL Sampler by Leela's Studio. And this is stitched two over two on 32 count relic by Picture This Plus. I've used all the called for threads. And I have absolutely loved it. I I loved everything about it. There was nothing. I hope you can see it all. It's not a huge piece. But I just loved stitching on it. And I had left the, the initials and the date. Wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. I was going to put my own initials. Going to put like this year. But I decided just to go with what was charted. Um, I was also concerned about the darkness. Um of those letters it's the same with the butterfly at the top it always seemed very dark but you know you should trust the designer as i said to dawn uh, frosty x stitch we need to just trust the designer a lot of times it's exactly how it should be but when we are stitching it we maybe think something else so what am i going to do with this i have no idea what i'm going to do with it um i had thought initially i was just going to frame it then Michelle from Mama Loves UGB, she had um, flagged someone who'd finished it as a drum and it looked fabulous. Um, so it may well be made into a drum, not by myself, obviously. Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't say how much I enjoyed this. I, I, I don't know if it was just the colours or if it was the design, but I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And my new star, I'm feeling exactly the same way about it as well when I show you it. So yeah, here we go. SL Sampler by Leela Studio. All done. 32 count Picture This Plus Relic using all the called for threads. Yeah, I, I love. I really did love that one. So what else have I been stitching on in the last two weeks? I think maybe I show you my new start because I have really, really, really enjoyed this new start. I had it kitted up for a while. Um... And actually, as I finish something, my plan, not my monthly markers, but as I finish uh, projects, my plan is to start something new. So when I finished the the sampler there, I thought, right, what am I going to do? And I had this all kitted up, ready to go. And it's this sampler here that's in the Blackbird design book um, sewing club. And it's the one that is called Willing Hands. So... I don't know what people think when they see it on the cover. It's the it's a very similar picture inside. I'll show you. I'll be able to cover up the 
the chart, I think, no problem. I, um, you know, it was nice, but I quite liked the colours, wasn't too, you know, I, I liked it. But then I saw it stitched on Instagram. There was at least maybe three or four over a, a period of a few months, and I thought, I really like that. I really, really like it. So I all kitted it up with the uh, called for threads, not the called for linens, and I'll show you how much I've done. And I posted the other day there because I had made a start, but I stitched again last night on it and, well, kind of made quite a bit of progress. And here you are here. So this is Blackbird Designs, Willing Hands. It's in the Sewing Club book. And I'm just about starting to build the house. So if you look here, that's where I am. Just starting to, to build the house, put it all together. Um, and I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm really loving stitching on this. I love the colours. This fabric is Fibre on a Whim, 32 count um, cream and sugar. Um, it, it's a lot lighter than I, I would normally choose. I normally choose something more with, with some depth to it, but I'm, I'm actually liking this one. Um, all the threads, just a mixture of all kind of over dyes. That's them all there. I like the blues that are coming through in that chilli pepper. It's a great colour, this one here. So yeah, really enjoying um, that. So yeah, that's my start. Um, I will try and put it down, but I am really, really enjoying it. Um, it's a great stitch and a couple of people have commented on Instagram. So it seems to be quite a popular chart. Um, but yeah, so that's Willing Hands by Blackbird Design. So I started that um, actually just, just a, I think a couple of days ago. I didn't, I didn't wait too long before I, I started it. If you just bear with me while I um, put this back, because the I have like chaos mess after a, a film, so if I can keep some sort of order, that helps. What else have we been stitching on in the last two weeks? Well, here we go. I also picked up my hands across the sea. This one here. The rose and the giant pear. Um, again, I'm I'm starting to build a house. That's the the point I'm at. I'm stitching this um, two over two. I think it's. Let me just check. I should have the bag of the, the fabric. Let me show you it, and then I'll tell you the fabric. So here you go. So I did. <laughs> I think the last time I spoke to you, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to carry on with the border. Well, I didn't do that. But I did start the house. Um, and actually, the house is quite, it's, it's like a checkerboard. The, the house is really nice to stitch up. But I did notice last night or the night before that I'm missing a few uh, stitches on my pair. So I will need to go back in and, and fill what I'm missing. Um, this fabric, I'm sure I wrote this down but for the life of me. Um, I can't remember which one it is. Let me see. Hold please. I've probably written it down in my, my diary. If you let me see. I'm going to pause. Okay, <laughs> so, so I found the scribble. This is um, Fibre on a Whim Affogato and it's stitched two over two using the called for DMC. Um, I, I still have quite a bit to do on this one. Um, I am easily distracted by my new project, but I will try and put a couple of days in um, over the next couple of weeks so that we can uh, get some progress on it. But it is an enjoyable stitch. And I, I found out that I really like stitching houses. Um, I, I'm not sure I've always been like that, but at the moment I'm uh, really enjoying stitching the houses. So yeah, this is uh, Hands Across the Sea, uh, The Rose and the Giant Pear. I had to think there because I used to make a joke of calling it James and the Giant Peach, which... Um, for those of you that don't know, is a famous Royal Dal book 
I'll pick up my threads because I'll be looking for them. Okay, so what else have I been stitching on in the last um, two weeks? It continues. Um, it's this one here. And this is every time I just pull everything out and it all falls. This is Cottage Garden Samplings. Christmas Eve and I'm stitching this hopefully to get it finished for this Christmas not hopefully I will get it finished for this Christmas um, and I want to get it finished so I can give it to my mum and this is how far I've gotten on this one it's a bit blown out with the colours I think it's just because it's super bright today um, but yeah I've worked on his beard um, I did only just think I did a couple of days on him worked on his beard and I'm going to try and move over and do some of the the heavy stitching in the the coat because all that needs to be to filled in but this is stitched on 32 count picture this plus murky and i'm using all the called for threads which is two classic color works i think and all the rest are dmc but actually i'm really enjoying stitching on him as well and it, it's strange at the moment everything that i'm stitching on i'm loving and i have to force myself to stop and switch um if not, you would get one video with with one project that's all I've stitched on and it would be like five minutes, that's it. So so I have really been um, forcing myself to put the projects down and move on to, to something else. I don't have a formal rotation, but I just kind of go with what I feel like that day. And somebody had left a comment and they had said that sometimes they, they do the same. They just stitch what they want when they want. And they called themselves, um, they just go with their mood of the day. So they called themselves a moody stitcher. Um, I could quite easily be that. It is very much just how I feel, what I want to stitch on. Often I have it in my, my head, right, I want to try and make progress on that. Like when I was stitching on the, the SL sampler, I wanted to get it finished. So my focus was, right, if I do another extra few days on that one, I'll get it done and then that's it finished. So... I do have some sort of sense of urgency as I make progress, but while things are like this, so like lots to do, then I just pick up what I want, stitch on it for a few days, put it down, put up something else, stitch on it, that's what I do. So yeah, this is a uh, Cottage Garden Samplings, Christmas Eve, stitched on 32 count, picture this plus murky, two over two, using all the call for threads. And I do know that a couple of people have them um, Pick this one up um, since I've shown it and you will love stitching on it. If I know Sally, you recently purchased it. When you come round to stitching on it, you will love it. Okay, what else? Oh, I have something else. Yes, <laughs> I don't stop there. And the final project that I've stitched on in the last two weeks is this delightful project here. This is Cori e Batacori. And this is Halloween in quilts. And I'm doing this as a stitch along with the lovely Melanie, Melly Ellie Stitches. Um, she's doing the the stitching one. So is it, or is it sewing in quilt or stitching in quilt? But I also did quite a, well, a bit on this project. This is a huge project. And I know Melanie said that in her video, but it is, it, they're really big. I'll show you the frame I've been working on. And the frame is so big that I can't even fit it in any of the project bags. So that's why I take the project off it. But this is as far as I've gotten on it. Um, I've really liked working on this. This fabric is Seraphim, um, old stationery, 32 count. And I'm stitching this two over two using the called for DMC. So I've kind of finished most of this block off. And then I thought I would go down and work on the little witch. Um, I still have quite a lot to do. I've got a lot of filling to do, but I think it's looking pretty good and um, I'm really enjoying it, but there is a lot to do. I just want to show you the frame that I used to stitch this on. Yeah, it doesn't even go into the full viewfinder here. This is a 17 by 17 Q-snap. It just fits on here. I don't have a lot of excess fabric on the sides. But everything else was too small, everything was kind of getting crushed. And I knew I had a bigger frame and that was why I pulled it out. So yeah, and I get lots of compliments or questions about this little needle minder. And you know, for the life of me, I had thought I had bought it in on Etsy. 
So when somebody asked me, oh, where did you get it? I just went to my purchases on Etsy, scrolled away, couldn't find it. So I'm not sure where I bought it. Um, it is super cute. It's not the strongest of magnets, but it's perfect for this project. And um, yeah, I'm sorry if it ever, for whatever reason, I come across where I bought it, I will certainly um, let you know. So yeah, that's my Halloween in quilt um, by Cory Ibatakori, and I'm making steady progress. It's not there's nowhere near a quick finish, um, but I am certainly enjoying uh, stitching on that one as well. And that is all the projects I've stitched on in the last two weeks, which is quite good considering I've been working, I've been doing some other stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, qu I'm quite happy with the, the volume of stitching I've got done. Now, I have some happy mail I'll do first and then I'll do my haul, which is a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, something that I meant to mention last week is that I, I also purchased one of these mugs. Um, I got it off Etsy. I'll link it below. It's by Wooly Wooly Sheep, I think, on Etsy. But I will link it below. Um, I've not used it yet. But yeah, it sits there with my uh, hand cream that I use um, when I'm stitching. Okay, so Happy Meal. I haven't... I didn't ask the person if I could name them, so I'll probably not name them, but I'm, I've am i already thanked them. But somebody who won a, a giveaway last year and who already sent me something, but it disappeared um, in, in the post during COVID, they then sent me something else. And I just want to share this with you. It's just absolutely wonderful. And it's beautifully stitched and finished little pillow. Um, and you'll see it's got my initial there and it's got the year for, for obviously last year but this arrived and I was oh delighted it came all beautifully wrapped up and I was so happy that it arrived purely because if somebody's gone to the trouble of sending me something I, I would like it to arrive um, but yeah so, so this is beautiful thank you very much I've already thanked you <clears throat> over the, um, the web but it is absolutely lovely and I can't wait to display it when I'm in my own house. And then I also received, and again, this, I don't know where this went. It went on a little journey, but this was from Melanie, Melly Ellie Stitches. She had sent me some wonderful floss jobs and a sticker. So I'll show you the stickers first. Super cute cat stickers, which will go on my DMC box. <clears throat> and some lovely floss tags as well. So that, that was really nice to, to receive. But this was posted, I believe, I'm trying to think when when it was posted, but it went on some, I don't know, went on its holidays for, for a few months before it arrived here. Um, the little pillow came all the way from uh, New Zealand um, to all the way to Scotland. And this came from the US. So they were my lovely pieces of, of happy mail. Thank you very much, ladies. It's very um, kind and generous of you. Okay, so haul. <clears throat> there is a lot to be said. Excuse me, well, I cough. <clears throat> there is a lot to be said that us stitchers often have two hobbies, one of them being the stitching and the other one being the collecting of the stitching uh, accoutrement, maybe. But uh, I have a real um, passion for charts or addiction, or but yeah, I am accumulating quite quickly now. And I think Stitchy Sally mentioned in her video that she got stash and she wants to stitch the stash. And it's so true. I mean, if you buy a Blackbird Design book, there can easily be six projects in there. And if you want to stitch them all, you know, that would keep you busy for, for a number of months. Um, well, it could keep me busy for a number of months. I'm not that quick a stitcher. Um, and obviously there's other stuff going on, so you can't spend every moment uh, stitching. But I still quite like the charts. I do have a often a fear of missing out. Um, and so the haul that I've got initially is just some pre-orders. I think it's all of the pre-orders. And there is still some other stuff to come in that I didn't pre-order. So now I'll wait for it. Anyway, let me show you what I've purchased. Um, first thing is the heart and hand one. 
the um, hummingbird. I have the other ones, so there's the, the red and the blue. I've got them all, so I had to get the, the, the next one, which was the hummingbird. Super cute. I then purchased this one by Summerhouse Stitchworks. I recently bought the Winter Cometh. So then I had to get the next one, which is Spring Awakens. And I should really kind of get myself organised to stitch these. Because um, I think they will look lovely um, framed as four on the wall in my uh, office in my, my house. And then I also bought this one here by Needlework Press. Um, and this is Sarah Allen. which is a, a lovely sampler. And then <laughs> by Needlework Press and got, and also a, a lovely sampler. And I've been doing a bit of reading about samplers, Scottish samplers in particular, um, and about the use of the red and the green. So I'll maybe share that with you in a, a future video. But th this is not a Scottish sampler, but just something that I, I read about Scottish samplers. So yeah. <clears throat> Um, and this one here, which I think is going to be my next new start, to be honest. Um, so this is by, yeah, Hands to Work, and it's called Moonflower. I don't know if you can really, can you see that? Is that not super cute? Is it just me? I, I, I kind of love it. So I'm thinking that might be my next new start. Once I finish Willing Hands, this one might be the one I think. I don't know what it is. I just, I, I really, I really like it. I think it's really cute. And I also got Erica Michaels, and these were the English sampler berries. I'll put it like that, and then you can really see them. I have quite a few berry um, charts now. I need to maybe get stitching, and then they'd be sent to Lynn to finish. But yeah, I thought they were nice. And then I bought a couple of Teresa Colgate, and these are like fairly substantial booklets. So there's Gather. And I really like this one here, up here. Um, so yeah. And final that I have at the moment is this one here, which is Let Love Rain. And I'm trying to think if I can get a better picture of the full sampler to show you. Um, yeah, here it is here. I knew I had seen one. So that's that there. And I really like that one as well. So that was all my market pre-orders. They were all the things that I pre-ordered. And I now have coming, I think, the Blackbird Design book, the chart with the, is it the humming, humming of the bees, maybe? Um, and there's something else I think I'm waiting for. I can't remember. So so, so in the next time, I'll have some more um, charts to show you from market. I also received, or I also bought some DMC threads, a little bundle there for the Hands Across the Sea chart that I, um, I bought. So that was for that. And then finally, I received my threads <clears throat> from my thread club that I have with Lakeside Needleworks. Lakeside Needleworks? Yeah, Lakeside. And this is where we're at. So it looks like we're at the D's now. So yeah, they, all those threads came in. They're all like really screwed up. So let me just... How come I've noticed that certain people who show threads, their threads are always so immaculate. I'm not one of those people for whatever reason. So if you're not aware, Lakeside, um, they do a, a monthly thread club. Send you an invoice once a month. And you get them. Um, I've done it in the past for weeks and then I decided to do the classic colour works. So yeah, just gather them week by week. And I think that is all um, my haul. Um, yeah, I think that's all my haul. So um, I don't have a giveaway organised for this time. I will try and do something next time. I'd like to thank anyone who um, has bought me a coffee in the last two weeks and I'd also like to thank everyone for their wonderful comments um, and likes on my videos. The last video did get quite a lot of um, views. A lot of people had said it was because I had mentioned 
the the large amount of haul but I think actually this time I have more haul um so yeah and that's it not too bad 30 minutes that's not bad for for six projects that I've worked on plus the haul I hope you're all well I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and um, I'll see you all in two weeks time thanks for watching bye bye